What is up guys, welcome back to our video, it's from Cooper again, so today we're going to be watching Poor Man Sage Life's <laughs> Poor man saves the life of a billionaire. What happens next is shocking, Darman. Shout out to Darman. Go subscribe to him and like to and subscribe to me with those post notification bells on so you never miss out any video I did. So let's go. There's still time. That's a sack of horseradish. I've given millions to this hospital. And you're telling me you can't find a kidney for me? I can assure you we are doing our best. Do better! And bring some. Oh, and also, um, the sponsor of this video is Milbona. No, I'm just kidding. But the peach and passion fruit, I think it is. Yeah, peach and passion fruit. Um, yogurt is mm, amazing. Peach and passion fruit. Unless you're allergic to one of those. Uh, I got it in little, by the way. Any UK guys? Better food in! They serve better meals to prisoners and dogs! Yeah. Yes, Chihuahuas in Beverly Hills eating better than I am now. Still no luck, eh? Damn. No. You think if you donate enough money to these people, it'd actually give you decent care? Well, at least you have extra money to donate. Ever since I was a kid, my goal in life was to be a millionaire. And I worked for 40 years. I almost hit that goal. But the same week that my account reached seven figures, Hot. I get the great news. The big C. Hmm? Cancer. It's crazy. I thought that once I got rich, I could enjoy life, go different places, have some adventures. I even wrote a whole bucket list of things to do. But instead, I'm stuck in here, and all the money I ever earned has gone to medical bills. Instead, all I have to show for it is a divorce, and a daughter I haven't spoken to for 20 years. That's what? a long time. Have you tried reaching out to them? Well, my ex-wife died years ago. And I don't think Emma much wants to talk to me. It's been too many years. What about you? No kids or wife can be a donor for you? Too busy running my business. No lady was ever okay being second priority. I'm sure no kid would be either. That's true. I remember my little daughter saying, Daddy, don't go to work. Stay and play with me. Stay and play with me. <laughs> I'd pretend I didn't hear her and then sneak out the door. My wife got so mad. She nagged me. I don't know what annoyed me more, her nagging or her cooking. Cooking's the only thing I miss about my family. My mom used to make the best casserole. Bless her soul. I'd give anything to have some now. Instead of this crap. Hi, Nathaniel. We got your test results back. Good news. Want me to pull the curtain, or maybe we could move to another room? No. No, it's okay. Doesn't matter. I've got nobody to tell everything to anyway. All right. I'm really sorry to tell you that your cancer has spread. It's looking like you have about one month, maybe two tops. Oh, God. I don't understand. I feel fine. That's how it goes sometimes, but soon you'll start to feel more tired and weak. Then your appetite will go. Some patients end up periodically losing consciousness, but eventually. Are you finished yet? Would you like to add something else from your encyclopedia of death? I'll give you some time to process everything, okay? <laughs> what month? Damn. Wait, can I pause this? Nate. Oh my god. 
I'm very sorry. It's all right. Not like I have anything to live for anyway. Everything I worked for, I've already lost. For what it's worth. I may be joining you soon, if I don't find a donor. If we're a match, you can have my kidney when I go. Are you serious? Because if you are, you gotta let me repay you somehow. <laughs> repay me? <laughs> what use would I have for money now? You said you wanted to travel. Go on adventures. Hey, now's the time. <laughs> That's a good one. No, I'm serious. Look, you said you feel fine. Would you rather pass away here or having the time of your life? I say you get that bucket list together and we make this the best month you've ever lived. Yeah, but what if in the middle of it he starts feeling tired and all that? I've never been in a Rolls Royce before. <laughs> Better be careful, man. You're gonna catch some flies with your mouth open like that. <laughs> so it looks like we can cross the first one off the list. Ride in a Rolls Royce. You got that right. Where to, sir? To the moon. <laughs> they actually did that. No way. They actually did it. Now do what you do. Get loud. That is. <laughs> I'm fine, guys. I'm fine. Beautiful, man. Seriously? You okay, man? You, you kind of had me a little worried. It, it's okay. I'm all right now. Hey, look at that sunset. <clears throat> I've never seen anything so beautiful. You've never seen a sunset before? I have. It was years ago. I was too busy working to have any time to... Daddy, I didn't know you were coming. Yeah? I took the night off early to spend some time with you and your mom. I love you, Daddy. Uh-huh. I love you too, sweetheart. You know you're my world, right? Yeah. Oh. You all right, man? Yeah, I'm okay. 
Oh. Shouldn't we be going by now? I'll see you at the car. <clears throat> Good news, we crossed another one off. So that only leaves one left, change someone's life. Maybe we can go find someone on the pier to help. You wanna talk about it? No, it's nothing. Look, I know the list is almost done, but um, I mean, if you wanna add something, <coughs> No, it's all right. What is it then? Talk to me, Nate. It's just, I thought that if we got all of these things done on the list that it would make me happy. <laughs> now we've done them all and I still feel the same. Maybe that's because you know your time is coming. I don't think so. I just, Everything that I ever believed in, everything I worked for, everything I sacrificed. What good is it? Money's great, yeah. I mean, I've jumped from an airplane, driven in exotic cars, wore expensive clothes. Now all I feel is unfulfilled. So what would make you feel fulfilled? I don't know what. <laughs> you okay, man? <laughs> All right, man. The medicine seems to have suppressed the cough. I'm still waiting on the test results, but I'll be back as soon as I have them. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Hanging in there? Don't know if I can last any longer. Come on, man, don't give up on me now. You still gotta finish the bucket list. We've already done nine out of 10 things. I don't think doing one more thing is gonna make any difference. Two. What do you mean? I added one. What I is hope it? that's okay. Daughter? Play with me? What's that supposed to mean? Excuse me, Nathaniel? You have a visitor. Huh? I don't think anybody should be here visiting me. Unless there's somebody... Emily? Hey, Dad. You're all grown up. <laughs> well, I would hope so. Oh my goodness, you are so beautiful. I can't believe it's you. Who told you about this? I mean, Ferrari didn't do it for you, so I figured... I didn't think you ever wanted to talk to me again. Why would you think that? I've been praying to see you for as long as I can remember. I just didn't know how to reach you, and when I didn't hear from you, I figured... I figured you didn't care to be a part of my life. I think of you every day. And, and ever since this thing happened, I, I just want to be with you as, as long as I can. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want me to come back later? Oh, it's okay. I'm just trying to spend whatever little time I have left with my daughter. <clears throat> well, I think you should be spending a lot more time with her. Because we just got your results back. And by some miracle, your cancer seems to be going into remission. Uh, really? <laughs> oh! just happened with my wires, guys. 
<gasps> what? Yes, we couldn't believe it either. <sighs> We're doing more tests to confirm, but from what I'm seeing, everything is looking really good. I'll be back in a bit with more information. This is the happiest day of my life. Christina's <laughs> gonna be so excited. She wanted to come, but she had school. Christina? Mm-hmm. My daughter. Are you trying to tell me? Your grandfather. <laughs> Maybe you couldn't get it right with me, but now you have another chance. Oh. Nate, congratulations. This is all fantastic news. I'm gonna give you two some privacy. Oh, Terrence. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Maybe I can talk to the doctor, and if we're a match... Forget it. Not in your condition. Even if you are a match, I wouldn't hear of it now. Besides, you got a lot more reasons to live now. More than I have. Hold on. Nice. I have an idea. Is she gonna donate her kidney? There. Now her nails are finished. <sighs> oh, that's beautiful. What do you want to do next? Can I paint your nails? Um... Okay, maybe. Okay. Um... Excuse me? I, it's a work call. You know what? I'm not going to take this call. Instead, I'm going to play with my granddaughter. Yay! Okay, then. Looks like we can cross number 11 off the list. Bombastic side. Well, there's something else we have to do. Let's change somebody's life. Seriously? After what your daughter just did for me? Yeah, we're crossing that off, too. Well, you blessed us by bringing my father back into our lives. It was only right we bless you, too. There you go. Gave him her kidney. Homemade casserole. How did you know? Wow. I don't know what I'm more excited about my new kidney with this casserole. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, boy. That was insane. Yo! That was insane, guys. Well, if you like the video, remember to don't forget to like and subscribe and turn the post notification bells on. Should I keep, should I talk like this? Okay, you said. Who is tech? Who likes this worker spamming? Who texts at half eleven? Anyway, guys, if you like that video, like and subscribe, and see you in the next video. Peace!